Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I thought it would be honors to have everybody here today. We're continue working on real world applications of logarithmic equations. And yesterday, problem 11 was, you might recall, the sound intensity, right? So we kind of left it there yesterday, remember that? Yeah. So now we're, we're here at problem 12. So you got intensity of sound from stands of football game is 25 times as great as the, when the home team scores, the touchdown is when it is when the way team scores. Find the difference in the loudness of the sound when the two teams score. Now I looked at this problem and to me this is not that easy a problem. It's not. It's not like the SAT problem of the day that was an easy problem. This is is a tougher problem. I already got the answer. It's 24. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. It's close. Uh, loudness of sound. I think we're going to be looking for an answer in decibel difference. 24 decibels. 24 decibels. You think? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's that's a that's a maybe a plausible guess. I don't think it ends up being that, but we're going to work through it. We'll see how close it is. We'll see if it is. So Mark, Marcus's theory that, okay, if, if that'd be 25 decibels minus one decibel. Now one decibel, now remember, remember the threshold of hearing yeah. was 10 to the negative 12 decibels. I talked about that yesterday. Uh -huh. Watch, I mean, watts per meter squared. And so that's, that's the faintest sound. And so one decibel is just barely over that. So that's not going to be it. 25 and 25 decibels is barely a whisper anyway. Yeah. So I don't. So I don't think uh, that's a good thought, Marcus. I just don't think that's it. So we're going to have the, we're going to have the loudness of times 25 minus the. Let me see here. Yeah, loudness at 25i, loudness of 25i, we'll call it. Loudness of 25i minus loudness of, of i. And i being intensity. And we'll, we'll call i the intensity of the away team. And so the home team is 25 times that. So what we have is, the way we have this is it's a, a log, I might remember this from yesterday, log 25, or excuse me, it's 10 log, that's what decibels is, right, Marcus? Is that right? Okay, so we have 10, 10 log, uh, 25 I, over I sub zero. So we'll, we'll do it like this minus 10 log. Uh, it's going to be I over I sub zero, right? Okay. So we, we've broken the we've broken it into the into the depth, and so it it sort of builds on what we were working on yesterday. Okay, so I'm just leaving myself a little room here. So how can we go ahead and what can we do with this logarithm here? What can we do to expand this? Okay, we got rules of logarithms here, right? Yeah, so that's so, so I think Chloe's on to something here. Okay. So so anyway we have we have log ten log. Ten log. Ten log. So we have twenty-five I minus ten log I sub zero, right? Minus we have this 10 log i minus, well that's going to be minus negative, right? Mm -hmm. 
So plus 10 log I sub 0. So what's going to happen here? There's some cancellations going on here. So is the other one so now what we have left is is 10 log of 25 I minus 10 log I Does that look right? And so what is that going to be? It's going to be 10, 10 of log 25i minus log i. So what is this going to be here? Okay, so it's going to be 10. Yeah, let's go ahead and look at this. So what we have here is log 25i over i. So what's that going to what's that going to be? 25. 25, right? Yeah. So our answer for our difference is going to be 10 log 25. Oh and let's find out what that is. And that's going to be decimal. So 10 log 25. So that would be the difference in decibels according to that. So 13.9. Yeah, you can call it 13.98. So 13 equals 13.98 decibels. Now, I'm going to go ahead and... This is the first time I've worked this, this problem today. and We know how that works sometimes. It's, it's hard, but let's think about it. An increase... Okay, let me, let me finish my thought first. Then you can ask a question. Okay, now, if you recall in, in decibels, since it's a logarithmic base, is that if you have something that's 10 times as loud, that's going to be 10 decibels greater, right? Well, here, this is supposed to be 25 times as loud, but that's like 14 decibels greater. And if you had uh, 100 times as loud, that would be 20 decibels later, uh, greater. So this is somewhere in between that. Okay, what is your question? Um, what happened? Yeah. What happened to the long I? Oh, he simplified it. Yeah, but it was the and log i divided by i. Mm -hmm. 25i divided by exactly. i. But how did you just get 25i? No, because that little, what we have, question, drop for me or whatever, but it's log of the, or log of base, n minus log of base n, you can just make it log of the base n over n. Yeah, so this is the expansion, this is the expansion of this. Okay, this expanded to become this, and this expanded to become this. And, and, we're, and there's a little bit of sophistry involved here because you're subtracting everything, but here you're subtracting a negative. So this becomes positive here. And so that's why your I zeros cancel out. She didn't see that they canceled out. You didn't? Do you see that now? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is right. So this turned out to be right, so I don't need to look at the correct yeah, good. 
Yeah, well, good. I mean, you guys were helpful too. Yeah. Right. Okay, but the, to me, this is this is really to to me the reason what makes this problem hard is it's very abstract because you have to break this down and you're really not canceling out numbers so much as variables. So even though you have the decibel difference, you don't have a concrete number in decibels of what that of what uh, I is, right? We just know that 25 I is going to be 13.98 decibels greater than the, than the, the fainter sound. So I guess in that respect, Marcus could have been right. Remember? He said the difference was 24 decibels. Well, the idea was it wasn't exactly 24 decibels, but it was the same kind of principle. Wait, what does the book say, Mr. 13.98 decibels. That's what the book says. Yeah, what I, what I do is I've, I've made these videos before, but I, in the videos I do the odd number problems. So I, I watch the videos, and then I check in the book if it's a problem that is challenging, like problem 12. Okay, now we are to this next set. So I need you to handle them. I need you to handle them. Pick them up. Yeah, you can pick them up. few others on this section. We really worked on these problems in sec in chapter 13. All right? Do you remember seeing problems like this in chapter 13? You had a test in chapter 13 recently, right? So this is like so what I want to do is we're going to set up an equation just like we did in chapter 13. Mm. All right, so how do we set this up just like in chapter 13? Do you remember we had, we had oh, A, you put point zero, we put A of T uh -huh. equals P sub zero, and we have one plus R to the power of T. So you remember all that from last section, yes. from chapter 13. So we have like R would be point zero, right? So now we know what the price, we know this is our starting price, this is our end price. So I'm going to put 50 is equal to P sub 0, which is 40. And then we have 1 plus R, and R is going to be equal to 0 0.08, right? Yeah. And to the power of T, number of years, right? So we don't. We don't know that. So we're trying to solve for T. So now we can just go about the process. And if we divide by 40, 50 divided by 40. Is it subtracting? 1 minus. No mark. So that's going to be, was it 1.25? is equal to 1.08 to the power of T. All right, now in, now in, uh, in chapter 13 what we would have done is we would have put Y sub 1 
equals 40 times 1.08 to the power of x and then we would put y2 equals 50 and we would have found by graphing where these two functions intersected and that would be our answer to to t right so now we're now we're using logarithms for solving so we have a we have an exponential equation so this is what this is what uh, I think the first person who asked me that I recall last a couple weeks ago was Victoria was asking about how do you solve this not by graphing so this is the answer this is the answer to her question Victoria but so do you have a have an idea on this one okay what we're going to do is we're going to take a logarithm of both sides so so we're going to say log of of 1.25 equals log one of 1.08 to the power of t okay so what are you going to do next yeah you can put t in front right so so you have is log 1.25 equals t log 1.08 mm -hmm. I'm just going to continue to work to the right here so you're going to do what you're going to divide by log 1.08 log 1.08 so yeah so yeah so you have t is equal to log of 1.25 over log of 1.08 log 1.25 and then you can go to your calculator so log uh, 1.25 divided by log 1.08. So two point, yeah, rounds to 2.90, right? So t equals, we'll say, 2.9 years. Did anybody, did anybody try to solve this by graphing in the calculator too? No. Well, if you did, I'm sure you got the same thing. So this is the answer. And it wasn't, and it wasn't only Victoria. I think, I think Victoria asked in seventh period, and Ben was asking in eighth period about this, and then that was the answer here. Right. And. It, and you notice that we could have done it, we did log, but could have we used a different thing, different types of logarithm than common log? Yeah. 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 Because it would end up being, because we would have like, if we tried ln, let's try, if we tried ln 1.25 divided by ln 1.08, are we going to get the same thing? Yeah, we are. So it ends up being a change of base formula, essentially. That's what that ends up being, okay? All right, what I want you to do is, I want you to go to number 14 and work out number 14. I'm gonna call on somebody. I got, some, I got a wheel of names to call on somebody for number 14 here in a few minutes.
Super Bowl uh, show many years ago, and they didn't. Even, they were just like older guys just playing guitars, and, and they didn't. Even, Pete Townsend didn't even smash a guitar. I mean, thought that it's a Super Bowl show. That's what you're famous for, smashing guitars. You don't smash a guitar on the Super Bowl show. They probably they play a ton of Nazi. Maybe it was his grandma's. It's Maybe it was. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and call on somebody. 38. Look at I got all the teacher appreciation. 38. That's really good. No words. What? Oh, you do. Okay, Kendall, you are the young lady of recognition right now on this baby. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Just take that hand. Just take that hand. Okay, Kendall, how did you on this one? I did it. I haven't done it yet. You haven't done it? What did you get? I have to do. Ready knows what 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 to do. Then I need to call somebody else here. Cut a man. So we're going to have, it's going to be Bryce. Bryce. Uh, I can say the first bit. No. Okay, yeah, tell the first bit this time. Or okay. we'll write it up here. Okay. Just write your equation up here. Oh, I see. You want to write your equation up there? Yeah, so just show me if you if you got off to a good start. Well, that's good. We can I, think, I think I did it right. I might have put <laughs> so Mark, if you're helping, helping Bryce a little bit here. Yeah, you know, a little bit. But uh, I, I kind of knew what to do, but at the same time I didn't. So okay, that's fine. Well, that's, that's the process of learning, right? We just learn, by, learn, by doing. So learn by doing. It says below 30, right? Right? That's so what do I put 30 or do I put 29 or something? No, it's 30. 30. 30. Man, that green. Green put the alligator in negative 40. Why don't you put the alligator? Going in the back. Yeah, that looks good. Hey, it would be minus because it's a decay. Oh, right, 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 right. Oh, so that's my bad, guys. My bad. Hey, you can put the green marker down. What would that be? Oh, oh. Oh, there you go. One minus point four. Zero four. Yeah, zero four. Yep, okay. zero four. My bad. Whatever. Right, we did it. You know what? Dude, you're messing with the hood. So, oh. right. <laughs> okay, minus point zero four. Point thirty nine. Zero. I still got the four. Parentheses, and then I'm gonna put a, a T yeah. T up here right. mm -hmm. for time. Good job. Okay. Good job. So that's that's the equation, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. So so Bryce Bryce, I'll give you credit for that. Okay. So now 
I'm going to call somebody else to actually go ahead and solve that equation. Oh, not bad, Mark. I forgot to calculate it. Thank you. Okay, and Atlee, I have you down. For solving the equation. Okay, I'm thinking for I should have made it like. Okay, y'all think so? That's what I did. That's class. Mr. D, can you move up? Can I move what? Yeah. The little. Oh, that, yeah, I probably can. Let me move it if I can. Well, you're Miami. There. All right. Yeah, it's kind of in the way. Okay. So, I put. Yeah, five point five away. Why should you consider six? It's ninety six. Because you have to minus point two. Point nine nine six. I'm a little. It's okay. So you couldn't read your own writing, is what you're saying? No, I put point zero six. Well, you did get the wrong answer. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Just, just go ahead. They got you set up on the right track now. Yeah, Let's go. Yeah, we still love you. I can lose you. Can I do that? Yeah. 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 So that would be after, to answer the question back in terms, after how long will the population drop below um, 30? Got him, got him. Approximately. Yeah, so after 38 years. Yeah, I got that. What is that? Or sometimes you hear, it say, you hear them say during the 39th year is what they'll say. Years. So, years. So years. 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 Uh, so Likely it'll work. Did you write it for well, that? that's good though. That's, that's how he said yeah, That's good. I like that. Literally, you're a part of this class. Yes. 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 I got it right. No, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and now we have another yeah. one here. Uh, prob so I want you to do this. I'll pick somebody else for problem 15 here in a few minutes. Okay. What else? Oh, we got one of these. Oh. What is that? What is that? Forty point two? Forty point two is the next one. Bless you. Thank you. See you're welcome. What's your name, Chloe? Thank you. I'm Chloe. What? What? Oh, gosh. Thank you. Oh, God. Thank you. I'm tired of 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 you. Oh, you did you say no? Yeah, that's her. Oh, yeah. 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 Ye
You did four twitches. Okay, here we go. I'm going to choose somebody here. <laughs> I've got, uh, looks like it's going to be Braden or Lexi. It's Lexi. Yes. Yeah. Sure, if you, you could. I wouldn't mind doing that. That was really good. I appreciate uh, Bryce and Patty going to the board already. That was really beautiful. Good job. I definitely got that wrong. Bryce, you can be a cute. No. Oh, it's red. can't see that it's like 14.2 minutes. Right? Yeah, yeah what happens is it has to do with like the interactivity of the board. Is, uh, sometimes a little bit suspect. What I want to do is uh, what I want to do is just kind of clean up the cosmetics of this a little bit. This so just like so like that, right? Okay, so so there we are. Thank you, Lexi. All right. Uh, so we're here to this chemistry one. What this is? Did you guys do this in chemistry here? Yeah. Right now. We're doing right now. You're doing this right now. Yeah. Okay. The difference in hydrogen ion concentration. Yeah, but we use like the H three O. Yeah. So what? So what you're going to do for this? Is you're going to set up. Can you set up two different equations? So 7 equals negative log, and we have, have H plus. And so this H plus is kind of weird, but it's like a variable that you solve for, is what it is. And then you have 7.6 equals negative log. concentration of, and that's hydrogen ion concentration. And I think it's in moles per liter or something like that. They don't say this, but the, the pre-calculus book does. So what we have is negative 7 equals log of H plus, and then we have negative 7.6 equals Ne equals log, I just put negative log, 7.6 equals log of H plus. So what do you do with this to get rid of a log? No, what you do is you do this thing right here. You power it up. 10 to the power of 10 to the power of, right? 10 to the power of negative 10. 10 to the power of 10 to the power of. What happens here? It cancels out. Cancels out. Cancels out. So you have your H plus concentration here for uh, the lower pH. 
is going to be 10 to the negative 7th power. I mean, 10 to the negative 7th. And then this one over here is going to be H plus concentration is equal to 10 to the negative 7.6. So the difference in concentration is is going to be it's going to be this minus this. I'm trying to think of how the that was that right? Uh, Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, it's the So difference in concentration. So difference equals 10 to the negative 7 power minus 10 to the negative 7.6 power. That's going to be our difference. That's our answer. So I just kind of want to leave it there today. And I really think that out of this new exercise sheet here, that's all I want to get so you can turn that one in too. Today. And then we can start on 16.2, which is, I think, solving exponential equations on Monday. Thank you, class.